Hi, everyone. My name is Mike Thomas. I am the team leader of the Thomas team at Premier Brokers International Real Estate here in Southeast Florida. Uh, and I wanted to talk to you today about buying a home in Miami if you are from Mexico. So what is the procedure? What goes into it? What has to be done? How do you do it smooth and easily without any problems? So I'm going to go throughout all the information that you're going to need to buy a home right here in Miami. And so please stay tuned for the whole entire video all the way to the end because it's packed with some really good information that is going to help you along the way. So let's get started. So my name is Mike Thomas from the Thomas Team of Premier Brokers International Real Estate. I am the uh, owner and, and founder of the team. Uh, we have many people on our team speaking many different languages. And sometimes people come to me and say, Mike, I already have somebody that I'm working with, a friend of mine or a friend of a friend and uh, recommended somebody for me and that's my agent. But you're about to spend over half a million dollars in a real estate deal. And sometimes I wonder if that's the right person for you. So I think you should interview more agents and find out what is the right or who is the right agent for you uh, whenever you're buying a home. So that's one of the things that I would keep in mind. Now, the first thing that you have to know about Florida is all agents in the state of Florida automatically are what they call transaction brokers, which means that their obligation is to the transaction, not necessarily to the seller or the buyer. They just want to put the real estate deal done and get paid, which isn't really what I think real estate should be whenever I'm buying a house. Whenever I go anywhere to buy a house, the first thing I ask is, are you a buyer's agent? That's important to me because buyer's agents represent me. Now, how much does it cost for a buyer's agent here in Florida to the buyer? Nothing. The seller's agent has to split their commission with me whenever I bring in the buyer. So there's no cost to you at a buyer. Uh, to have me as your agent. So that's the good news. Now, one of the things is, is why would you want a buyer's agent? Well, a buyer's agent does something very, very good. And that's keeping your information confidential. And you're probably thinking, Mike, don't they keep my information confidential regardless? And the answer is no. Sorry about that. I should have turned that off. The answer is no, they don't. Um, if you buy a home and the seller's agent says, well, tell me a little bit about your buyer. The first thing a real estate agent does, who's a transaction broker, is give them all your information. Oh, yeah, he's from Mexico. He's a cash buyer. You know, he's got well over X amount of dollars in the bank, you know, and you're thinking, oh, my God, why would you tell him all of that? Uh, because he's a transaction broker. That's why. And so a buyer's agent has to keep everything confidential. So please, if you don't use us as your real estate agent or you don't use anyone on my team, make sure you have, a, you have an agent that insists on having a buyer's agency agreement signed. And that is to protect you as the buyer to make sure that your confidentiality is kept secret between you and your agent. Number one thing. The second thing is, are you paying cash or are you looking to finance? Now, we have some great companies out there that will help you finance a home here in Florida for foreign investors like people from Mexico. And so uh, we have an array of people that we work with. So we've got you covered to get you the best rates and with the best terms and conditions of a mortgage. Um, as far as finding a home, Sometimes people come to me and say, Mike, I already found a home. I know which home I want. And I say, that's okay. What home is it? Let's take a look at it. We look at it. And then the first thing that pops in my mind is, wow, I know five or six other homes that are much better than this. Maybe a better price, maybe better location. Maybe that will appreciate a lot faster for you. So just by finding a home on Zillow or Realtor.com, may not be the right home for you. Anyone can find a home, but finding the right home for you is probably one of the most important things that you should consider. 
So our, myself and my team here at Premier Brokers um, will help you find a home that may not be in the multiple listing, that may not be on Zillow, may not be on Realtor.com. So now you have the opportunity of looking at homes that don't really exist on the normal spectrum that real estate agents look at. So that is very important if you're looking for that special home that's not available to everybody. Negotiating the best price is probably one of my biggest strengths. I've been doing real estate for over 30 years and almost every single day I'm negotiating. Uh, one thing or another, I am in a negotiation. And I've been doing it for about 30 years. So that's a lot of days I've been negotiating. Now, I'm sure that some people out there are great negotiators and um, they may have negotiated in the past. But if you're negotiating every single day for 30 years, um, that's a lot of experience. And I don't know if anybody has done that uh, who's buying a home for the very first time. Not only the negotiation part, but the rules and regulations, the laws and the taxes for foreign investors are something that's also important. So if you choose an agent, make sure that that agent knows what the current laws are and uh, the taxes are around foreign investors. And that all has to be disclosed to you. So make sure that they know and understand that. Just because somebody has a real estate license doesn't mean that they're experienced in the, the field of foreign investors. Um, as far as negotiating, we do that with inspections as well. So if you, I highly recommend that you get a home inspected, number one thing. Um, when you have the home inspected, it gives the opportunity of coming back to the seller and renegotiating some of the terms and say, geez, you know, we didn't know that this was wrong with the home or this needed to be fixed or this needs to be replaced. And we're able to get you some extra money from the seller uh, when, an, when, when an inspection comes in with issues. And we're going to make this a very smooth transaction for you to help you move things along uh, very easily. And it's going to be a lot less stress on you and your family whenever you're buying a home here in Florida. Mm -hmm. So if you are interested in buying in the greater Miami area, Fort Lauderdale, or even Palm Beach uh, County area, let us know. We'll be happy to help you. I hope this um, video was helpful to you. And I am going to leave my information at the end of this video, as well as in the description uh, below. Please give us a like, uh, subscribe to us if you want to see more of these videos, and have a wonderful day.